Hey everybody, Andy Brady again. Uh, same day, but different video. Um, I got a bunch of requests about updating people on some previous videos I made about a uh, containment for filament to keep it dry, uh, to keep it drying out and keep it dry, and the enclosure that I made for my three printers, my three main printers, um, and wanted to do an update here. I have not cleaned it. It is the mess that it is. Uh, because this is how it's actually used here and uh, I'd be lying if I cleaned it up a whole bunch for no reason uh, just so you guys would think that I'm a neat person because I'm, I'm not so uh, let me get right into it talk about some of the features that I built into this uh, which if you've already seen the other video you'll know a bunch of these if you've not I highly recommend you search my page find the other video where I built this kind of scent uh, this kind of system I highly recommend it for anyone that has their own system um, and uh, let me flip around this camera and let's get to it all right, first and foremost, let's get this thing opened up. Hopefully the cold breeze doesn't mess up my current print. As many of you guys predicted, my Ender 3 V2 has been, um, let's just say, not used quite as much lately. I still have the Revo nozzle in there so I can change it out and I can print some pretty large things pretty quickly on here um, or some things that are utility purpose. Um, I do use it every once in a while, especially when this is being used, which seems it's being used all the time. Uh, my MK3 Plus, uh, still being heavily used, uh, but I had originally designed for there to be a spool holder up here, similar to how it did above the ender. Um, and I never ended up actually doing that just because I was able to reach in here and grab these spools pretty easily. Um, I still plan to do it eventually. It just became a little bit lower on my priority list. And then just a reminder, I still have my, my one single AMS unit. I'd love to have four of them up here, uh, but you'll have to like and subscribe and I'll have to get to like 6 million followers before I can do stuff like that. Uh, but it allows me to easily access it, get this, and then it goes, I don't know if y'all were able to see it, but there's a hole that leads it down through where it feeds into the carbon. First thing I want everyone to see, yes, it becomes a mess. I don't sort, I don't organize, um, and I put things where I need them, and where I need them is right there. It's great for scraping the plate, great for getting something off of it, great for fixing something. Um, you'll notice I took the top off of the carbon, and I even took the door off of the carbon, um, which seems a little counterintuitive. Um, but you know, I bought this before the non-enclosed version came out. But what I found was if I was running more than one printer in here, that the inside of the carbon would get too hot and it would actually start blobbing really bad. And it was definitely not good for what I needed to do. Um, but a couple updates on what I've got going on in here. Uh, my LED lights, they stopped working. They started flickering occasionally. Um, so lesson learned, if you're gonna buy some LED lights, maybe buy a brand name. Even if they're highly rated on Amazon, they might still be an absolute piece of crap. And if it was only, I don't know, $10 for a strip, maybe it just wasn't worth it. That could be the case uh, because now I've got to get in here and completely rewire it all back up. You guys will see in the back, I still have my Wise cameras. They're pretty cheap ones, they're the originals aiming at the print beds and each of these printers are plugged into smart plugs in the back so even though the carbon will alert me to spaghetti defects most of the time um, you know I'm able to view these two printers at least remotely and turn them off remotely with my Wemo smart plugs so if I uh, start a print on one of these I usually check in on it a couple times and if it starts to mess up I can cut it off remotely which is a complete loss but at least I can do that rather than having a spaghetti monster or a potential fire Speaking of potential fire, something that was not in my original video is these devices back here. Joggers wall, Joggers wall, don't know how you say it. I talk a little bit about it in my video that I just uploaded the other day about the drying tent. Um, but these are actually made to go in the engine compartment of a car. And if they hit fire temperature, and you'll see there's little holes right here where it blasts out a fire retardant. And so I've got one of them aiming this direction and one of them aiming that direction. And I've got one extra that I was planning on putting in there, but after talking to some people who've used these devices before, they said it was complete overkill. So I've got an extra one. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Probably when I build my next enclosure, put it in there. Um, the Prusa and the Ender seem to do just fine with the plastic being completely closed up on here. Whenever I do close these, because we are in a garage, I don't want the cold temperatures. You know, when I do close it up, it makes it a lot quieter, as you can see and it does hold that temperature in there. Uh, I've got an unfinished ceiling with an exposed vent right there that blows right on my 3D printers. So it destroys a lot of my print quality uh, quite often. Um, but overall, very, very happy, very, very satisfied with what I did here. It works completely well. 
I really don't have anything to change except that I'm probably gonna take one of these really bright strip lights and build that in here so that my video feeds are a lot better um, and my, uh, my time lapses from my bamboo can end up looking a lot better. Um, I haven't really changed much of anything on the actual printers. Um, <clears throat> I do still use them specifically for different things. Uh, my Prusa, if I'm printing something and it's going to take you know 23 hours but I'm not in a rush for it and I know I might use my bamboo more often, I'll use that. If I'm printing something and I'd like a .08 or uh, you know nozzle, then I'll jump straight to my Ender. So I still do use these, that's why I haven't gotten rid of them. Um, and I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm thinking maybe I want three carbons. Um, or some P1Ps, since apparently I don't care about the enclosure because I built a full-size enclosure. But, let's see. That's it for that. Wasn't trying to make too detailed of a video. I just know people have been asking me, how is it working out? Uh, what would you do different? And um, really the answer is not very much. Um, I did add a doorway in the styrofoam back here that actually connects this part and this part, um, but I don't actually keep it open. If the garage gets really cold, Sometimes I'll open that up that way when the space heater in this area is running, it can still kind of keep this area a little bit warmer. But typically if I'm running at least one printer in here, the temperature is perfectly fine. Uh, if I'm running two, it is fantastic. There's absolutely no need for any additional heat. Um, so do me a favor, like and subscribe. Um, I'd love to keep posting more information about 3D printing. I'm trying to do as much unusual and different stuff that I'm not really seeing people do. Uh, even though I might see some similar things uh, that exist out there, hopefully we're seeing a new creative outlook. So uh, again, like and subscribe and uh, check out our printables page. Um, it's Kabliga, K-A-B-L-I-G-A, -A, and see a lot of the stuff that we're printing. What I'm printing right now is actually a console wall mount for a Super Famicom. Uh, so... Yeah, if you're a Nintendo person, I've got one of those printing right now. I'm actually currently designing it uh, so that hopefully I'll be able to hang it on the wall, get it off the shelf, free up a little bit more space up there. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to put the link to that Joga's wall on uh, the description. I do get paid a commission on that. So if you're thinking about buying it, please buy it from my link. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, see you next time.